All right, I know it doesn't look like much, but on the mobile Cushman workstation here, we have this Garver Seed Easy Cedar. That's a mouthful to say, but we took it apart in another video and I think we're ready to start putting it back together. So we'll get started on that right after this. Welcome back. If you haven't seen my videos before, I'm Rossi Oliver Man. And this here is the cedar that my great grandpa had, I believe, to go on the B. John Deere. That's what I was always told. And we dug it out in the last video and kind of sized up how it might fit on the tractor. And it was a ball of sadness, rust and nasty. And we got it cleaned up and painted. I know I said I was going to go John Deere green, but the collector in me just could not change the color when I found that it was a darker green, so I went with that. And upon cleaning other pieces, I found that it was actually yellow. So it was green and yellow, just not the same shade of green. And so last night I was on the old internet machine there and Googled this company just to see, you know, what I could find out. And it looks like they're still in business. And they still make this exact thing. I mean, identical, except for a few small, you know, modifications over the years. It's basically identical. And uh, I sent them an email, and I don't know if they'll respond or not or come back with, but what I was after was I wonder if they have any kind of old literature or something, specifically if they had like a scan of this decal. It's supposed to have a decal here that says Seed Easy, and then it says like Garber something seeding company or something and then down here it says the name of the town in ohio and i'd like to get that reproduced if i can i found a picture of one of these on the internet that has all the decal intact so worst case scenario i could go to the sign shop and maybe they could make that for me and then i've seen some of them but i don't know if it's the same model that had other like decals that point at stuff so i don't know i don't know what it's supposed to have this is a G1B, it looks like. So, and the other interesting thing I found or thought when I saw this is the ones they sell today that are like this, it's like almost $700. So, you know, a coat of paint on the one you got, that's probably the money saving option. So, I also believe that if it was garbage, they probably wouldn't still be making them. So, I have high hopes that this might actually work when we're done. So we're going to start slapping her together. And I've been trying to figure out what I thought was the best course of action. At least the order to put it together in to make it somewhat easier. And I think I'm going to start with this side handle and then put these things in. There's two screws that have a spring on them. And we're going to have to get that just right. So that's where I'm going to start. So this here goes like that here. And then that other thing, which I'm not real sure on that. I'll have to look back. I might get it totally wrong. There's a piece of wire thing that goes under there. And then there's two flat plates that bolt up here. And that's kind of the most important thing, I think. So that's what I'm going to start on. That's actually wore, wore through there. I don't know if that was originally that way that the guy making it drilled the hole wrong or what. Or whether it's actually wore over time. It's having trouble going through there. We'll figure it out. We is smart. Come on, we don't need to start riding the struggle bus first thing. Although it looks like we're going to do that. We're going to ride the old struggle bus of sadness. Come on. How tight is too tight? Well, Uh, 
guess time will tell on that deal. Now, if I was real smart, I would have remembered which way this went, and I don't. Because this thing was wedged under here, and was it wedged that way, or was it wedged that way? I almost feel like it was wedged that way. But that wouldn't make sense, would it? Would it make more sense that it was wedged this way? We're gonna boulder in and then we'll deal with whatever comes on that one. I don't really understand the operation here of why that is that way. See, that just doesn't seem right, does it? That seems like What's that gonna accomplish? That piece of wire. Well, like I said, we'll we'll maybe table that and figure that out after after a while. If we just tighten it up enough that it stays put. I guess that's supposed to provide you some tension on there somehow. But that's kind of what these plates are gonna be doing. So you're right in the action. Now, for these, I'm not real sure how this is going to go down either. I brought some springs along. It's supposed to have little springs to, like, hold tension on it. But I think I got too much spring. I think one, I think, like, half of a spring is going to be plenty to do what we're supposed to do. So if I cut this one in half, we might be in the right neighborhood of where we need to be. Because what we're gonna actually do is, we're gonna take these two flat plates and they are gonna sandwich this lever and the back one's got a spring behind it and then and then it bolts solid to the box, if you see what I mean. So spring and then bolt. So I think half of this would be adequate enough because that's just too much. Another cool trick you can accomplish is immediately drop the spring after you cut it so that you have to hunt and hunt and hunt. Try to find it. That's about right. But when you see what I've accomplished here, then it will make sense what this actually, what I'm talking about. All right, so we've essentially made us a little spring-loaded sandwich, and it's gonna go on there and then bolt in there, and that's how it works. It holds, the springs are gonna hold tension on this so it stays where you put it. issues here but we're getting it She's fighting us a little, but I think it's going to work, see. Let's scratch that paint off right away. <laughs> but that's going to work. Now we got yellow paint on everything, but that's okay. We've done dumber stuff before. I'm trying to finish this part of it up, but it's playing very hard to... I don't know, not hard to get, but...
All right, step one complete. We got that on, and this, I don't know, but we'll figure that out. I'll look back at the tape to remember how it is at a later point. Next, we'll put in this cross piece that agitates, and then we'll put that thing in the top of the box to make it go. So, this goes here, but we gotta get we got to get that behind those slides. And I don't know, maybe I'm going about this wrong. Maybe I should drop it from the top. That probably would make sense, wouldn't it? I'll try to slide it in. Or will that not go? Or I need to go half and half. And then try that way. there so now you can kind of see how it works the lever sets the amount of opening and then this thing just wobbles back and forth the whole time to help shake the seed out which is a good thing because like i said grass seed likes to stick together i mean it clumps up pretty aggressively so yeah good pliers for the wind Again, how tight is too tight? Well, that's too tight, probably. No, maybe not. Maybe not. Yeah. It's got to move, but it's got to not vibrate loose. So now, if I change this, yes, that will go. expect the first time we do this everything to shake loose and never ever stay tight again ever. that's what I expect to happen now the more difficult one maybe I want to wait till well no I don't want to wait till later so at first when I saw this I thought I understood how this was in there but looking back now I tweaked on those fingers a little bit and I don't think I should have. I think it was in there for a reason. I was thinking that it looked like it probably went like this. And maybe it does. Maybe those won't hit. But we'll test it first before we... Something still don't look right because how would you close it? Doesn't look like it would let it close all the way up. Let's, let's test that thing. Yeah, see, that's not going to let that... Well, I guess it would. Needs to be able to go back and forth, though. I almost feel like there needs to be another washer underneath of it. All I'm doing right now is scratching the heck out of everything. I think I need a couple washers or something under there. Just to keep it from, like when it's all the way closed, keeping it from bottoming out on there. Alright, I think I adequately got this. Because it's going to agitate like that. It's not hitting anything, and then when you close it down... It clears it and it still doesn't hit anything really kind of rubs the front wall but you won't be running it closed so that shouldn't really make much difference you see should be able to live with it like that most of the time it's going to be open yeah now should we put our spinner back on and I'll warn you I did not go aggressively with the cleaning on this aluminum spinner I think I'm just going to leave it pretty well as is. And that's just the way it is. If you don't agree with me, tough luck. Do your own your own way. I cleaned up on it a little, but I didn't go overboard. I 
can always change that later if I change my mind, but I need that little brass piece. I don't know, what did we decide? Are we going to try it this way? Yeah, maybe. More realistically, if I had more time to devote to this, I probably would clean that aluminum up a lot more, but it's fine. I'm not going to paint it. It was painted green as well. But this is just a little side project we're doing. I don't have time to, you know, go crazy. Ooh, it does slide up. Okay. Let's do this. pretty she needs the braces though because it's very flippity floppity that way that's the technical term so that's what we're going to put in next i guess is the side braces again did ross remember which way they went no i'm pretty sure they go that way yeah so one on each side they say 60 35 you know What's that about? Is that the part number of that piece? That side doesn't work as good, does it? All right, now I have no idea which bolts came out of what anymore. One would think that it was the shortest two, but I doubt it. See, I have the two for those clamps in there. So they were the top ones. So I got that figured out, which we may have to replace them anyway because they weren't very good. Then the bottom two would be some of these that I have. And then there's two more left. So that would have to be what I've got here, right? What was there? Who remembers that? Not me. I guess that will... Oh, I do remember now. We forgot a very important piece. There's another brace that goes in there. Yeah. Yeah, this thing here went in there. And I sure hope I can get it in there without... Having to take it all back apart again. Boy, that would suck, wouldn't it? To get this far and then... I got another plan of how I could make this happen. Okay, technical difficulties, friends, but it's nothing we're not used to. We're going to get this. Wait and see. Yep, yeah, that's where this other bolt with the washer went. I'm on board now. I understand what's happening. This is what happens when you work on something you've never worked on before. Sure. Sure. All right. Are we good to go now? Maybe. I think so. Yeah, that needs a little tweaking. cooking with biscuits I'm just trying to figure out what was the braces and I don't think it was these I think it was these bottom two holes would have to be the other clamps so what I'm gonna do here is I don't have washers so I guess I'm gonna get more 
That seems so long though, that bolt for that simple task. And what I'm trying to figure out is, is that correct? What I'm, no, those did have a, geez, I don't remember now. Oh yeah, I do remember. Okay. Yes, these do have another piece on them. Because there's four of these clamps. And then those yellow brace rods have more clamps on them. So this will actually go on the back side. With more of this yellow rod through it? Question mark? I'm pretty sure that's right. I don't know. That'll work it out about right, though. That makes more sense, then. Yeah. It's making sense. I promise. I promise it's making sense. It's just a matter of figuring out what you got where. Although, I should probably stop what I'm doing right now. I should probably go ahead and put that yellow thing in because otherwise it's going to be a trick to do after a while. I never did get my piece of wood worked out yet so that'll be another process of this. Probably a different time. Maybe still in this video but I'm going to have to leave here and I've shot almost an hour of footage already so. Isn't that hard to believe that you can been an hour doing almost nothing all right this is an example of a guy getting too excited and causing himself more frustrations but i got her figured out now friends this is the way it was however yellow paint seems to always rub off that's why i should have probably given it a week to dry instead of 24 hours we may be adjusting this later but i'm pretty sure this is how it was all the way down so that should work we'll tighten those up remember this isn't so much a restoration as it is a preservation so that we can use it it's going to get scuffed up and all that jazz so don't get worked up if it looks like it's you know you're not happy with it all right now for this all right it is starting to resemble cedar shape again and if i turn the shaft everything goes the way it's supposed to so that's nice we're getting down to the final stuff looking at the pictures uh i think that piece of number nine wire really was how the lid was mounted on these so i'm gonna put it back i gotta find it back who would have thought that the factory hinge was so simple I think it was just like that. Oh, yeah. It's working. The last step, of course, is our brace rods and then mounting it to our piece of wood. So I'm going to have to take a break and we'll come back to that, I think, because I'm not going to have enough time right now. So that doesn't matter for you because. I would say I can wrap it up in this one video. So that's what we'll do. All right, so later in the day, and I got this all together. I actually started editing this footage and I realized I'd put it together totally wrong. So I took that apart and fixed it. This I had on backwards, that's the way it was. It was facing that way. And then the main thing was this yellow mainframe thing I had flipped around. And this is the way that it was. So that's good to go. 
I think I'm going to call this a video here, though, because I got almost an hour of raw footage, so that should be plenty enough. And I still need to deal with that piece of wood, and also I want to acquire on some square hardware, maybe, to make this back, you know, kind of original-like. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to hunt down some more of that stuff and... Uh, yeah, then we'll put her back together. And also, I'm really hoping that that place sends me back uh, an email and says, yeah, we know all about this, and here's what you need to do, you know? Because I would like to get the decal made for this so that it's not just a plain, plain green-looking thing. But right now, I'd say we are in about as good a shape as we can be. I need to get some... Uh, I'm going to get a new radiator hose... For that but uh it's getting down to where we're about ready to try to mount her on the tractor so that's one step closer in the old process and that's what we're after as always if you enjoy my videos give them a thumbs up that helps out the channel and it doesn't cost you anything leave a comment tell me that you liked it or tell me that you hated it tell me i'm a moron i really don't care but anything that you say helps us out too so Thank you again, as always, for watching, and I will see you in the next one.